So we're upstairs in uh, in an attic, uh, just or not an attic. It's a finished third floor, uh, but we're in a uh, knee wall where this uh, Linux air handler was put in. So first thing, it is an electric air handler. So it's got uh, 350 uh, amp breakers. So it is a 15 kW heat kit. Uh, so we're probably going to go back with the 15 kW heat kit. I'll look at the electrical panel downstairs to see what size breakers we've got feeding these. Uh, but it should be... Uh, if I were to guess at least uh, three thirties uh, from the breaker downstairs, but we'll, we'll or a one sixty and one thirty, but I'll I'll get that information here shortly. So our refrigerant lines they run up, run over. Uh, when I go outside, I'm going to look at the size of the lines. The liquid line is three eighths, uh, which is properly sized. I'll get a size on the suction, uh, but there's no refrigerant leaks. So. Um, we are going to look at potentially uh, flushing the refrigerant lines, um, um, but I'll confirm that whether we're going to flush or replace the lines. Either way, you see the lines are over this top of this uh, this return here. It's running down into this junction box. So this little um, this section here that connects in there, uh, it's been torn up. Um, I want to just replace this section. Uh, it's about 10 feet long. Um, I'll have the size that we're going to need to bring, but it connects in right here. So I'm going to want to reconnect that. Our furnace here, our air handler is 21 and a half inches deep, so it's or, um, wide, so it's C width. I've got it written, I think it was 51 and a half long. So I'm going to try to get a, uh, an air handler that matches that exactly. Um, we're going to reconnect into our supply plenum. So it is, uh, it's not duckboard. It is sheet metal that is just externally insulated. Um, but, um, one other thing on the, uh, the condensate pump here. So we're going to look at, we want, if we can, we want to get rid of that condensate pump. Um, so right now we've got our pump trap, everything's getting pumped out. I'll show you on another video where it goes out outside. Um, ideally, uh, we want to get this out without, um, without having to go back with the condensate pump. So. Um, what I what I want to look at doing is potentially going once this thing gets removed wonder if we can just go in this joist space and go straight back out so put in a trap here go down and then go down through the joist space and go out through the brick and just go right out there because we'll have enough fall from here to the end of the wall and we'll be able to do it once this comes out um, so that that'd be the best uh, best case scenario but we've got an existing uh, pan here it looks like there hardly hasn't been much water in it over the years but they've got the old crappy style wet switch so put in a hockey puck wet switch in the bottom of the pan uh, for code um, and that is that is it for up here um, for now um, but I'll have another video for outside um, but as you can see, you have to go through finished space, hardwood floors, so you need to bring uh, bring the sticky, um, what's it called, uh, just floor runners that stick down over the over the floor, so you don't scrape up the hardwood floors. Uh, we're, we are up on a third floor, um, and if you want, uh, you could probably bring uh, just have an apprentice bring a window unit to put in that window to make this room a little bit cooler, um, just while you're working.